Well, hello, and welcome to the My Wool Mitten podcast, our podcast about life on a small sheep farm in the middle of Michigan's Lower Peninsula. My name is Carrie, and I live here with my husband and our family around us. And I, uh, this is not a normal podcast episode. It's not a full-length episode. I've been doing just a little, oh, and as if on cue, the furnace comes on. So you're probably going to hear the furnace running in the background, and I apologize for that. It'll go off in just a second. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, just a short little vlog, just counting down the days till our Thanksgiving holiday. I wanted to just take the time, enjoy the days, and really reflect on them, and I wanted to share that with you. <laughs> but in, a, in an effort not to be stressed out, I didn't get a lot of time to podcast. I did have some footage filmed ahead. That's one thing that I hear from podcasters who do like Vlogmas and Vlogtober and some of those bigger events that it's that it really is necessary to have some footage done up ahead. And I had done that, but I've used that up and I didn't have any new content recorded. So the light is a little strange tonight. It's dark. Uh, we've already had supper. Chores are already done. It's getting late, but I thought I'm going to try it, even if I have kind of an odd orange glow because of the evening light, but I just want to get something recorded and out there to you. And I hope I'm not talking too fast. I want this to be fairly quick, and I recorded it once and did that error of all errors, didn't check, and the battery was low. So now it's even later than when I first started to record this. Um, but so how have you been doing? You guys been okay? I've been hearing some great feedback from you, and I've really appreciate that. You guys know how much I appreciate you. And so I, I'm glad that you're enjoying these few minutes of time together with us. And so uh, before I get into the meat of this little vlog, a short episode, I wanted to show you some knitting. I've been wearing around the house the sleeves of the sweater, the Kate Davies sweater that was my newest cast on. I, I don't normally knit bottom up, which this sweater is. I, I've not knit a lot of sweaters in my lifetime, but I've always knit top down. And so I'm concerned about getting the fit just right on the sleeves. And also they were looking a little narrow. So I stopped, put the stitches on a thread and washed and blocked them. And the yarn did just what it was supposed to do, relaxed into itself and just, um, it's, it's not a super washable. This is farm yarn, Corridale and Fin Sheep from our flock and it just it's behaving beautifully and I'm loving it so anyway and all my jewelry here is this is how uh, weird I am about stuff but that was my decreases and I even though I was doing both sleeves at the same time I just wanted to be sure I was doing it at the right place so um, and also and I think I took some photos in the daylight uh, and I'll insert them here, of the sweater that my daughter and I were working on together that I showed you a few episodes ago. She did the knitting of the body of the sweater for me, and now I'm joining it together and I'm going to do the sleeves. And I got, got it all seamed up, and I took some pictures of it on the mannequin so you can see just what a big, snuggly sweater that is. And I'm really excited and looking forward to picking up the sleeves and finishing it up. But in the meantime, a few other things to get finished. So, um, and I'm also knitting on something else here in my lap that I'm not going to show you till probably Thanksgiving night, but I can work on it while I talk to you. Uh, and so this is going to be also a little bit different because this is going to be a little bit of administrative talk. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about the YouTube channel here and hopefully I make sense. And maybe you don't even care if you don't skip ahead to the end or or just come back tomorrow when there's different content. Some of you may know, and some of you may not, that YouTube, where these videos are uploaded to, is getting ready to make some changes for people who upload videos. There are some new rules and regulations going into place. I'm not smart enough to explain that all to you. If you don't already know, you can Google it or you can look it up here on YouTube. It has to do with some child protection laws that are going into effect on YouTube and and that's all a good thing protecting children on the internet and it won't pertain to you the viewers so much well I guess it will 
because it's probably going to affect some of the things you can see. But in a nutshell, for me as a person or anyone who uploads videos, you have to state whether your channel, whether your videos are aimed at children or not aimed at children. Made for children or not made for children. And that sounds simple enough, and it is maybe fairly basic. You have those two choices. You can say, yes, these videos are being made with children, geared toward children, or no, they're not. Well, it's not quite that simple. You would think it would be easy enough to say, well, this my channel is for anybody. A kid could watch it. An adult could watch it. I don't put anything on here that, that would be harmful to a child. Maybe talking about life and death on, on the farm would be. I don't like to put um, any of our grandkids on the, on the video very much. I might do snapshots or us working in the garden or something, but I don't feature them. I'm not, I'm not making the video thinking that I'm talking to kids. When I make it, I assume I'm talking to other adults. But so, so you would think, well, just say this is made for kids, it isn't made for kids. Well, that's where it gets a little bit vague and where it can change how you view the videos. If I were to go in and say, sure, the, these videos are okay for kids, then you, you would lose the ability to comment on the video. And there are some other things too, like links and sharing the videos, saving them to watch later. And um, I don't make money on my channel. I don't ever intend to try to make money with the channel. So there is more to it than that if you're someone who's making money on your channel. That doesn't affect me. But so, okay, you, you would think, well, I could say that. Yeah, it's kids could watch this. But then you guys would lose the ability to comment here. The other option is to say, well, no, this is not geared at children, it's geared towards adults. But I think that that's actually going to be the more tricky decision to make because from what I can understand, and I'm not brilliant at these things, but the videos that going forward they're going to be watching, and videos can be randomly watched by YouTube, by the FTC, whoever, I don't really know but to decide if your video is appealing to children. So you think about this. My videos for as that I'm using as an example because I'm the, you know, that's all I know. So say the first thing that pops up is a cute little lamb and a kid is looking around on the internet, a child's looking around on the internet and they think the lamb is cute and they decide to watch the video. So it's appealing to a child. Maybe we've got new baby chicks in the barn and I show that. A child looks at it and says, oh, I want to learn more about baby chickens. I have to relate it to, even though I'm not putting this out there aimed at children, when I was a girl, 10, 11, 12 years old, we didn't, of course, have the internet. We didn't watch videos on YouTube, but I read every book I could get my hands on about farming, about raising sheep, about raising horses. Then when I wanted to learn to knit and crochet and spin, I read books about that. Well, if it were a modern day time, if it were this time, and I was a 10, 11, 12 year old child, scrolling around on the internet, unattended. I mean, we'd like to think that they wouldn't have parental supervision, but we all know that that doesn't always happen. So say some child is thinking they wanna learn about raising sheep or spinning yarn. So they decide to watch my channel. Now it's appealing to a child. I could be fined one time, a hundred times, whatever. So see, it's not quite as simple as it seems. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I don't want to do um, be in violation of something when I don't intend to be. So those are the two options there, and you can do it. Oh, the other thing is, uh, if, a, if, say, my kids do, grandkids do appear in the video, if we're out in the garden pulling weeds for just a few seconds, or I do have a couple of videos where I've got pictures of my siblings and I when we were young. Well, then there's a child in the video. That means that it's appealing to children or it includes children. So I can't say that that's intended for adults only. So you can see where there's a little more to it 
than not. Now, I'm not here to make a comment on whether that's right or wrong. YouTube has every right to do what they want to do. This is a free service, and but I need to comply with it. And if I don't completely understand it and they don't have all the kinks worked out, you know, you don't want to be the person that um, is doing something wrong and I certainly can't afford a fine. So my other thought is to just take the channel down. I think they'll get this all worked out and figured out, don't you? I think it'll, it'll get figured out eventually. Uh, but this is supposed to go into effect on December 6th. That's not that far away. And I only have about a dozen videos out there, so it's not that big of a deal to me. But I've been thinking about taking a little social media break for a while anyway, maybe till after the first of the year. I'm not on Facebook. I'm not on Twitter. I am on Instagram and Ravelry. I have a Facebook account. I just don't choose to go there very often. Um, and most of you who watch the videos follow me on Instagram where we follow each other back and forth. So we still could stay in contact. Um, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I could take the videos down, keep my channel. It just wouldn't have any content on it until these these kinks get worked out or these issues get worked out with YouTube. And then I could come back to it. Would you guys hang around? Wait for me to come back? The other thing that I could do is say that these there are is content in this video that might be appealing to children. And if I do that, you guys would lose the ability to comment here. You still could watch the videos. You just couldn't comment here. But again, we most of us follow each other on Instagram. And so you could just come over to Instagram and comment. I, I started out putting show notes on my blog, my farm blog, and I could go back to doing that. You could read the show notes if you wanted to see a link on, you know, a particular thing I might be showing you or a pattern. So we could do that. But I guess I'm telling you all of this, maybe makes no never mind to you, but it is something that I'm thinking about doing. And while we still have time, I'd really appreciate your input. I really would. You can comment down below or you can come to Instagram and comment. I just would like to know what you guys think. Like I said, I'm not making any judgment on whether this is okay or not okay. YouTube has the right to do what they want. I'm just saying that as a person with a YouTube channel, a content creator, I guess they call us, I have to make that decision and I want to make the right one. But, you know, the world wouldn't end if my videos weren't out there. There are plenty of other good ones to watch. My voice wouldn't be missed. Or, I mean, it would. You guys are very kind. But, um, but I'll tell you the truth. I would miss doing them. I would miss visiting with you guys. We could visit, like I say, on Instagram. But doing these videos has been I think I've mentioned this before, has been something of a journal for me. If no more than two or three of you ever watched this, then I still would do them because I've learned from them. I've learned some things about myself. Um, I've learned to look at things through a little bit different eye. And so doing these videos has been helpful to me. And the feedback that I get from you guys and the larger connections that we've made really mean a lot to me and I'd hate to lose that. So there's a lot to think about. I mean, I've been thinking about it ever since they announced this, but I would really appreciate hearing about what you guys think. Uh, you know, if you still would follow along, even if you couldn't comment or if you would comment somewhere else. So let me know what you think. I want to do what I um, should do to comply. But it just still seems a little bit up in the air for me as to just exactly how you comply with the new rules and regulations if you're a, a video channel like like we are. I'd also love to hear, I know a lot of other podcasters follow along here. What are you guys going to do? Have you thought about this? Have you made up your mind? Have you thought about the fact that even though you're not intending your audience to be children, you might have something in there that's appealing to children and someone else could decide that you're putting them at risk or you're doing something wrong. So um, I just wonder what everybody thinks. So that's the little bit of administrative stuff. So now let's get back to the fun stuff. Hopefully I'll have some more uploaded tomorrow and the next day to show you that will include yarn content. I'm in a rocking chair too, so I apologize if I'm wiggling. 
Um, I want to show you something else that I'm knitting on that's kind of fun and different and a discovery I've made about myself as a knitter, conclusion that I've come to. So I hope you'll come back. I hope you'll comment one way or the other about um, what you'd like to see me do with the channel um, or, or not. And anyway, we'll just get back to having fun about this. And what do you think about the new location? I know the lighting's not good, but I don't think I've podcasted from here before. Some of my Salbu mitten blockers hanging here. This is our fireplace. So I think I'll close for now. This has gotten long enough, longer than I wanted any of these vlogs to be. And I'll be back again with you, I hope, tomorrow with some more, um, more lighthearted content. So I hope you guys are well. If you're not looking forward to Thanksgiving, or I mean, if you don't celebrate it where you're at, I hope you still have a good next couple of days and that you'll join us again here tomorrow. Thanks for listening to me ramble, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Good night. the non-laying hens, which to be fair, they're just coming out of molt, so. Everybody has a job to do on the farm. Hopefully they're providing all natural predator control, not predator control, insect control. Parasite control. There's the predator control.